My ride was relatively peaceful and quiet. Thankfully, I found a train that wasn't packed wall-to-wall -wall with drunks smelling vaguely of urine or children using the chairs as playthings. Ah, the joys of public transportation. I can't afford a rideshare or a taxi, and as for buying a car, ha <laughs> ha no, not in this economy. So, for now, this is how I get places. My destination lies just a few stops from my crap hole apartment. To pass the time, I attempt to chill out with some lo-fi hip-hop beats to relax to. <laughs> that sounds familiar. But I suspect there aren't enough beats low or enough fi to help me relax. <laughs> to help me relax before this upcoming encounter. I had a burst of confidence this morning when I decided to take this fleeting whimsy and try to make it a reality. But riding the subway toward destination unknown just to meet up with some professional gamers who will likely see me as just some rando? Let's see. What I need is confidence every... Even fake confidence would get me an upravery to get through this. I actually kind of agree with fake confidence. I am a big fan of um, fake it till you make it as a concept. Not that you really need to believe it, but just that if you push through a lot of stuff, it can at least help you get started. Because as I was mentioning earlier at the start of stream, um, starting things is the scariest part of anything. So this is actually something I kind of agree with. I'm not confronting a faceless mass of esports perfection. Games are fun. I can relate to them that way. Which is also fair. You gotta play this cool. There are masters of their craft, and I need to be clear and honest. Doesn't hurts. I'll hope for the best, but if they reject me, I need to not see it as a personal failure. Ooh. Okay. These are all interesting attitudes to take. I feel like this is the most practical answer. But yeah, all of these are good. There's no there's no real bad way. There's no bad answers here. I'm inclined to take this answer in a more confident way. I'm actually almost inclined to take a quirky response. Because yeah, it's like, they're just people who also like games. So if they're anything like us, then that's a good way to relate to people. Confidence in this calendar year? I know, but it is a possibility. I feel like this is what I would realistically do, is just like, hey, I'm gonna try, and if they don't, it's not about me. Versus, um... Or like this, you know, like, there's still people at the end of the day. I... I'm baffled at how genuinely torn I am about this. I think I'm gonna go with my gut, first gut instinct, which was like, oh yeah, I actually agree with this. It feels weird to not pick any of these other choices, because, like we were saying, there's no wrong answers here. I think all of these actually have a fair place. But I think, I think I'm gonna go with the gutsy answer for here. Fake it till you make it. There's some honest truth in those words. Eventually, false confidence can become true confidence. Exactly. That is exactly how I feel. If I'm gonna go for gold, I have to be willing to brave the horrors of the burning day star in the vast outside. <laughs> uh, as someone who works from home and is struggling with real life friendships, yeah, that. <laughs> I have to walk right up to these professional gamers and say, yes, I am worthy to join your ranks, and I have to believe it. Beep beep. Uh, what? Sorry, you seem distracted and your stop is coming up soon. I wanted to make sure you were ready. I'm ready. Mostly. Probably. You know what? Let's just pretend I'm ready and call it ready. <laughs> you seem to enjoy my recorded music earlier. Would you like me to play something for you while we walk you er, while you walk three blocks to meet your team? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm... Uh, let's get pumped, something that slaps, lo-fi hip-hop beats, something light and friendly, 80s training montage track. <laughs> no, I, I think I would want something energetic. Let's do that. I need to get my blood pumping. Enough relaxation. I want to hear something that'll bring excitement up, and I want to feel it in my fingertips. Sure thing. Music now playing. Oh, and doors opening on the left. Ooh? Ooh? Are there individual tracks for this? Okay, right, right. No, no, the left, the left! <laughs> As the subway screeched to a halt, I disembark and I head back to street level. Hopefully ready to face my destiny. Yo, there's individual tracks depending on what you pick and I love that! Hell yeah. I merge in the harsh light of day amidst skyscrapers and modern architecture, but in the middle of Chinatown, one of the oldest slices of the city. Decades mix and blend together here. Some buildings renovated, others not quite so much. Gentrification approaches like the Zerg creep, but hasn't completely swallowed it. A three block jaunt from the underground. Chosen music pumping through my wireless head earbuds leads me to... Wait, it's 
A laundromat? The internationally recognized professional esports organization you picked for me operates out of a laundromat? Indeed. Good, clean, fun. Combination pizzeria, arcade, and laundromat. <laughs> Can we talk about how good of a name good, clean, fun is? <laughs> it's so brilliant. <laughs> That's so good. Your potential teammates are inside. Doing what? Washing their underwear? Maybe. If their washing machines were Wi-Fi enabled and that wasn't a gross invasion of privacy, I could check that for you. <laughs> Although, I do wonder if they all have team-branded skivvies. One, it's called a rhetorical question, Iris. Two, ew, and three, really? Right. So, my new professional team of internationally recognized master gamers hangs out at a combination laundromat pizzeria arcade. Iris, minor problem. I've never actually visited an arcade before. Like, ever. Never been to an arcade. What? But you play Fist of Discover 2 for a living. That's an arcade game, right? You compete in tournaments and, and surely you've been to an arcade at some point. They're super mega ultra popular in 20XX. Iris, there's also a computer version of FOD2. It's less popular, but it's cross-compatible, so that's the version I play. If you want me to wax philosophical about Command and Conquer or Monkey Island, I can, but... I love the shoutouts to some very good games. I have Monkey Island on my list. Chat has requested it as a game I play in the future. So, we do have it there. And I grew up on Red Alert too, so the Command and Conquer reference is nice. But I don't know anything about arcade culture. Joysticks and buttons, right? And you play using pennies? Quarters. Right, quarters. I, I meant to say quarters. Iris sighs, realizing she's definitely got her work cut out with for her with me. And I feel a few sizes too small for my clothes, wanting to shrink and hide inside them. <laughs> this is a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? The premature end of my gaming career, trying to make an arcade... A bunch of arcade veterans take a PC weenie like me seriously... Can we talk about how Arcade is seen as, like, the powerhouse and, like, PC Weenie instead of PC Master Race appears to be the object here? Because I kind of love it. <laughs> you need some pizza. Iris, unsubscribe Pizza Facts. No, I'm serious. If you're uncertain, walk up to the counter in the pizzeria and order a slice. It'll help a lot. There's another reason I picked this place as your dream destination. What, because I was hungry? You'll see. Anyway, the choice is yours. You could directly approach your new teammates, or settle in a bit first and get lunch. I'll leave you to it. People are a bit more accepting, are more accepting than you suspect. And remember, have fun, be yourself. Iris, offline. But, with a shrug, I gather my wits and step inside. Immediately, the smell of detergent and cheese wafts through the air as I enter the strange little laundromat. I have to admit, that's really not a great combination of smells. Rows of washing machines surround me, each with clothes merrily tumbling away. At least, I was expecting that, but the rest, well... In the back, I can see two additional rooms. One, the aforementioned pizzeria, and two, a compact little video arcade. The sizzle of cooking drifts my way from the former. Beeps and boops drift my way from the latter. Before I can really get my bearings... A figure limping along on a walking cane, drifts slightly to her left, bumping into me in the process. Hi, babe! <laughs> Look, we already found a babe, chat. Woohoo! Uh, whoa! Fortunately, I'm steady on my feet and can steady her in turn. You okay there? She sure goes off the arm I'm using to keep her up, though, preferring to steady herself after that initial fumble. I'm fine. Yeah, I am looking respectfully. Aren't we all? Aren't we all looking very respectfully? <laughs> And without another word, she hurries along, boarding the elevator to take a short ride up to the arcade level rather than taking the stairs. Huh. That was odd, and it leaves me momentarily stunned and confused. Stun-fused, as it were. <laughs> I wonder if they're on this team I'm supposed to join. Beep beep, Sunbury, check this out. I use echolocation and public metadata to map out the entire facility to aid in your exploration. Just tap on the screen to decide where to go. Curious, I check my phone and see a neon wireframe of the entire place, complete with icons representing people and places of interest. Okay, that's pretty handy. It really helped me get my bearings of this place and the people who inhabit it. 
I haven't seen anyone get her as a first encounter. You need study and gutsy to get her there. Oh, I did. I thought that was scripted. I'm special, apparently. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm tempted to do like three things at once. Do I head right into the arcade? Maybe follow the person I ran into? Did Ira suggest I go get some food first? But whatever I do next, the decision is mine and mine alone. Hopefully, the person I talk to first is going to be my inroad to joining this team. Who will it be? Ooh, okay. Uh, a young woman is relaxing in, in the cafe. Is she part of the team? Okay. Uh, someone loitering around the laundry machines, checking their phone. Guy in a hoodie is intently playing the prize catcher game. Someone's playing a light gun game over here. The woman with the cane who bumped into me is playing a driving game. There's a guy playing a bullet hell shooter here. Ooh. Uh, what do we think, chat? Here, I'll, I'll hide myself so y'all can see the icons. So the woman uh, who bumped into us with the cane has the cat icon. Uh, we have a light gun game over here. Oh, and we have this. Might as well get some food, like Iris suggested. Loitering around the laundry machine is this ornate flower. We got this Assassin's Creed hood, apparently. Playing the pizza- the prize catcher game. <laughs> Bullet hell shooter game with these little dominoes. We had little bitty controller icon. Relaxing in the cafe. Hmm. Do we follow the babe? I don't think getting food is a bad idea. Because that's probably what I would do, is just lean toward getting getting food. But we did want to talk to somebody. We do love good pizza. And I mean, we got the pizzeria, good. We got a laundromat, clean, and arcade, fun. Because it's good, clean, fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm still amused by this. It's such a good name. <laughs> they label their pizzeria as good. I mean, it's a good advertisement for good pizza. Maybe we'll go get some pizza. Let's let's uh, let's start here. Maybe we'll see what happens. Figuring I'd go ahead and take my new AI's advice, I decide to make my first stop the pizzeria. Besides, the rumble in my stomach is telling me that it's almost food times, and I didn't exactly pack a lunchbox for myself. This was also my thought because I am not at my best when I'm hangry. So food first, new people second. <sighs> it's Ben and Matt. Oh, look how cute they are. Two middle-aged guys wait behind the counter to take my order. One skinny, one not skinny. One with a hat, one without a hat. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello! And look at their coordinating heart symbol! Oh, they're so cute. Welcome to Good Clean Fun. Good food, clean clothes, fun times. Eee! Can we interest you in a slice of today's house special? Or some quarters for the washing and or arcade machines? And or arcade machines. I'd like, uh, let's see. <laughs> Iris! I know we can have pizza on a bagel, but we don't. That's not what we're getting. Unsubscribe pizza facts. <laughs> I feel like this is just gonna happen forever, and I love it. I'm here for it, frankly. <clears throat> okay, I want... Uh, veggie options, house special, you guys got pineapple. We're getting pineapple. I'm terribly sorry, but I am this kind of person. Like, all jokes in confrontation. Uh, fuck you if you don't like pineapple on pizza, because it's delicious, and you're a problem. <laughs> More specifically, you're a problem if you make it other people's problem. You don't have to like it, but it's delicious, and if you are out here making a problem for people for things that they like, we're gonna have a fucking problem. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'd like a pineapple pizza, por favor. A perfectly precious pick. And as purveyors of particular pizzas, we're pleased as punch to provide. That's so many peas. One sweet looking slice of za is boxed up and made ready for my consumption. With my transaction complete, I turn to go chow down. However, I didn't make it far before they engage me again in conversation. This is your first time visiting Good Clean Fun, isn't it? I never forget a face, and yours is a face I haven't forgotten because I haven't seen it before. <laughs> That's so cute. We'd like to introduce ourselves properly to new customers. It's a tradition. He's my husband, Matt, and I'm Ben. Whereas I'm Matt, and he's my husband, Ben. <laughs> Why are they so adorable? <laughs> They're such relationships goals. 
See, it's not confusing in the slightest. Just remember, I'm not Matt. And likewise, I'm not Ben. Clear as crystal. I just remember by the colors. Matt is in green and Ben is in red. Although that would be hilarious if it was the opposite just to confuse me. <laughs> Can they adopt me? Honestly, I want them to adopt me too. But maybe there's room. I not I mean I'm Sun. You can call me Sunberry though. It's a gamer ah, thing. No doubt you're here for at least two out of three of our offerings then. <laughs> the games. He means the games. And the pizza. <laughs> but what about the laundry? I don't want the washers and dryers to feel left out. <laughs> Look at those clothes. They're squeaky clean. No laundering needed. Uh, that they are. <laughs> Completely clean clothes. <laughs> Curses. Boiled again. <laughs> now I want to use the washing machine just to make them feel better. <laughs> okay, now my head's reeling. Why did, exactly did Iris suggest to go see these guys first? For a healthy dose of calories and confusion? I... Yeah... The games. I heard there's a professional Fist of Discomfort 2 team that hangs out here? Indeed. We cater to the neighborhood kids and families, true, but we have a fine assortment of regulars who visit our arcade. Master gamers all, and we're proud to sponsor them in their adventures. Wait, you're their pro sponsor? Absolutely. Positively. <laughs> Matt and I have a long history of working with arcade gamers. When we first opened this new venture, we figured, well, why not carry on in tradition? We already started a barcade and we're eager for New Horizons. A pizza cade made perfect sense. We did a barcade last time. That was so fun. And when we heard there was a lo and when we realized a local gang of friends here in Chinatown had similar aspirations, well, why not support them with a little sponsorship? Too true. We provide them with a stipend of quarters for their gamers, or their laundry, or both. The gamer remembers my choices! I was wondering if that was already in play. I'm so excited, because I, I imported at the very beginning. I'm very, very excited to see how that goes. And you fly them out to tournaments and give them team salaries and all that other stuff? Ben and Matt exchanged an uneasy glance. Uh, well... Not as such. It's a bit of a tall order. Taller than a 48-ounce diet soda. But they've never really been interested in that sort of thing, yes? Not that I'm aware of. They're content to just play here and have fun. My hopes for our glory of the esports future are now fading. I don't get it. Why would Iris lead me to a bunch of local friends instead of putting me in touch with a professional team, like I asked? Perhaps sensing my worries, Ben clears his throat to catch my attention. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. Take a guess. Iris led you here to join the team? I heard her chiming in earlier regarding the topic of pizza bagels. <laughs> that would be accurate, yes. I mean, not that I would know a thing about illegally downloaded apps or anything. Ben winks and Matt taps his, at his head. Don't worry, we know a thing or two about Iris as well. Enough to know that everything she does is for a reason. Not that I know what a reason is, but believe Iris who believes in you, I say. I, for one, welcome our adorable future robot overlord. Matt understands me. <laughs> right, so... I glance around at the weird mashup of the three different businesses, curious. None of this really makes sense. I get the pizza in the video games, but I understood laundry? That really? Everything's coming up roses. It's a perfect system. You eat some pizza, get some cheese on your pants, toss them in the wash, go play a game while waiting for them to dry. Meaning you're playing Pac-Man Sans Pants. <laughs> also, thank you for the reference. I appreciate that. Well, okay, it's not the perfect good, system. Good. But the principle is sound. Doubling up on activity is just the thing for this go-getting, high-speed, modern lifestyle of the year 20XX. <laughs> and I guess it makes the perfect hangout for your casual gaming team, too. Grab some chow, bring your hamper, get it all done at once. Sensible. Indeed. Ah, but we've been talking your ear off and letting your pizza go cold. How unthoughtful of us. Go, go, eat, and enjoy. We'll still be around if you want to chat another time. Just one more thing. Welcome home. Brushing off that whole experience, I settle in at one of the tables to devour my pizza. It's gooey and delicious, and just what this hungry kid needed. But one thought lingers as I dine on my delicious dish. I pull out my phone to get some clarification. Hey, Iris? Iris Online? What is your reason for leading me here, exactly? I know I haven't actually met anyone from the team yet, but it doesn't sound like they're going to be what I asked for. Bing claims there's a reason for everything you do. Care to fill me in on what that reason is? I could, but I don't feel like I should. Huh? 
Color me confused. My phone is deliberately withholding secrets from me? I know, I know, it, it's a little worrying, your personal AI staying quiet, but in my experience, it's best to let my users reach conclusions on their own. One thing I've learned about humans is that you simply can't tell them how to fix their lives. It doesn't work. Instead, you can nudge them along a path that will get them to where they need to be. That's my specialty. I was unaware that I was in need of fixing. Self-awareness can be difficult for humans, I found. Shrugging, I finish off my lunch and move on. I can sort out whatever that meant later. Other business to attend to. But before I go approach someone actually on the team, maybe I should take advantage of Ben and Matt's familiarity with them to learn a bit more. Hello. Hello. Hello, how was your slice? Was it a little slice of heaven? It was tasty, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm gonna go ask someone on the team if I can join. I was wondering, well, whom should I approach? Ooh, a challenging question. The first one you talk to will be your in with the group. You'll want to make a good first impression. I suppose the question is, what sort of person would you like to meet? We can point you in the right direction. Mm. Someone who's competitive like me, weird sense of humor, eager for adventure, level-headed and reasonable, friendly and compassionate, someone who knows a lot about FOD. Interesting. I would pick someone friendly because I have social anxiety and I need someone to be nice to me about it. So we're gonna go friendly. Who's the friendliest person on the team? Someone with a lot of compassion might be willing to give a stranger like me a chance. You need to look no further than Grace, our resident genius. She's actually over on the other side of the pizzeria if you'd like to chat. Aww. She can be a bit shy at first, but she's always willing to give someone a chance. Could be just what you need. Be seeing you. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Guess grabbing some pizza did benefit me in the end. Got a better idea of what I'm walking into. Okay, who do I want to talk to next? Uh, let's take the suggestion. Yeah, it says Grace is having some pizza. She's friendly with a big heart. Let's go for it. <gasps> You're so cute! And look at her little game boy! <laughs> and her colorful clothes! <laughs> She's so pretty! What a babe! <laughs> Hang on, we have to save in case I may say something silly. There we go. <laughs> A young woman sits at a table, largely ignoring her half-eaten salad in favor of the beeps and boops of the game she's playing. I love her Game Boy so freaking much! Ben and Matt offer me a pair of thumbs up from across the pizzeria <laughs> as I approach the woman they call Grace. And she's playing her lunch break RPG session on a 30-year-old portable game console? Seriously? That's a retro dedication. As someone who really loves Game Boys, it, you know, gestures vaguely at my color... Uh, yeah. Th I, I love it. Very good. Immediately, I feel a bit self-conscious about literally rolling up to someone minding their own business. Rather than being stuck trying to find a non-creepy way to introduce myself, she notices my approach and offers a greeting first. Oh, um, hello. <laughs> hello! Can I help you with something? You look lost. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> I told myself I'd fake it till I make it, so I'll approach this with what at least looks like perfect confidence. If I have my act my act together, maybe I can find acceptance. So I was hoping to join your FOD2 team. Um, what? My what? Your team. The one that plays FOD2, hence FOD2 team. I want to join it. She looks mildly perplexed, but quickly recovers before I have to break down each individual word and explain again. Oh, you mean, a uh, Teen GCF, uh, as it were. Oh, um... She sets her unfinished game next to her unfinished salad to properly chat with me. Sorry, sorry, I was just confused because we're... Okay, so, we're not really much of a team? I mean, I, would, I wouldn't call us that, not exactly... We're more of like a club? Like the kind of club you would join to gain access to the neighborhood tree fort? I mean, I assume that's how these work. I've never been at a tree fort, and none of my friends had those... Gu guest houses don't count, right? A guest house? Did you grow up in a mansion or something? Oh! Uh, not important. Sorry. Getting off track. My name's Grace. That's like, just my name. My name is Grace. I don't use aliases or gamer tags or anything. That, that's fair. Ah, well, I'm... Uh, can we go back to the guest house thing? I don't care about that. Uh, you prefer your real name? Fine with me. 
Uh, nah, this is exactly what I would say. My name is Sun, but I go by Sunberry. That's almost exactly how I introduced myself on stream anyway, <laughs> so... I'm Sunberry. Pretty used to people calling by my game room tag, though. Sunberry, it's good to meet you, Grace. She seems pleased that I moved on smoothly from her earlier stumbles and offers a friendly smile in return. Likewise, it's nice to see a friendly face. I mean, not that my friends are unfriendly. No, just, you know, friends. Good, good. They're good. So, what's this about a club? Right, the club. Okay, so, Team GCF is really what we like to call ourselves. Me and my friends. We like FOD too, but we like a lot of things, you know? Sorry, we're not actually recruiting. I mean, we don't recruit for a circle of friends, right? Uh, it's not that we're unfriendly. It's just, I mean, how did you even hear about us? We aren't exactly advertising for new members. Well, this app I downloaded called Iris told me to come here and... Ah. Iris? Oh, why recognize her voice now? Sorry, I'm freshly installed, so I'm still crosslinking my databases. But that's my mom! Hi, mom! Mom? That mom? <laughs> Kiki feet! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Mom? Iris calls you mom? I have questions. Um, right. Hi. <laughs> uh, I sort of invented Iris. She's a nerd! <laughs> if you know that I love Maru in Stardew Valley, this will not make this will not be a surprise to you that I I'm loving this. <laughs> I mean, it was a group effort. Not just me, but I led the team that made her. <laughs> We'd inherited a pile of half-finished projects and ancient code from various dead companies. Funware, dynamic systems, retrowave, Cinus lotion. It was my idea to put all the pieces together into a single package. A virtual assistant with a winning personality. And it's true, we are all nerds in this game and in this community. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> I just I have a soft spot for a nerd. That was years ago, during an internship in my sister's company. And long before Iris got pulled off the market. Thankfully, I, uh, I mean, someone. <laughs> <leaked the> code <laughs> and broke servers around so they can live freely. I'd hate to see Iris and her sisters killed. I I mean someone yeah I don't think we didn't don't think we didn't see that one Grace. So someone leaked the code, eh? <laughs> you were an intern and leading a programming team. Iris's are alive. I mean, <laughs> I this was my instinctive answer, so I feel like I have to go with that. Really, someone leaked her code. Just someone. She shuffles nervously in her seat at the implied accusation. I will neither confirm nor deny. I shouldn't be talking about this at all. I don't entirely know why my sister tried to kill Iris. There are rumors. S scary rumors. I'm not involved. I have new projects now. I've moved on, even if I'm proud of my work with Iris. I have to move on. The wrong people pay attention to me. Look, can we please change the subject? Please? Damn, I was just trying to tease her, not open a can of worms. A change in subject would be smart right now. You're here to play games, right? I like games. Always have. They've been my passion long before I got interested in AI research. Grace shows me the gray plastic chunk of retro gaming hardware lying on the table next to her lich. This is actually the very first game console I ever bought. I ever owned as a kid. Bought it used with my allowance. After I got bored with the limited games I could play, I upgraded it myself. I replaced the screen with a color LCD, changed the guts for a miniature PC motherboard, Ha 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 ha! We were right! She absolutely modded out a Game Boy. I love it. All on my own dime. Well, on the dimes my family were willing to give me anyway. They saw video games as a waste of time. Really? I thought games were big business. Always have been, always will be. Not quite as important to society as whatever random mis mismatch of tech my siblings cook up. But I love games. I especially love console games. You can't do long narratives or open world RPGs with arcade cabinets. That's that's fair. That's true enough. Sounds like PC games too. Of course. 
Exactly. I mean, I do play FOD too, and enjoy the puzzle of it, but I prefer to sing most of my hours in RPGs. Japanese, Western, don't care. I'm even developing my own RPG, actually. The Wander Lost Trail. Uh, it's a working title. I like it. I'm into it. I'd, I'd play it. Development is pretty slow, since it's just me, but I hope to make a living, breathing world, beyond compare. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you take an arrow to the knee! Oh my god. I can sympathize. I love sitting down and sinking into a game for hours. Uh, and this feels reference. like us not changing the subject. <laughs> Thank you for the reference. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this one because that's accurate. Like, this is funny. Don't get me wrong. I love a good take an arrow to the knee joke. But I think, uh, I love sitting down and singing into a game for hours. Is true. This is, this is what I primarily like to play. I feel ya. PC gamers, we know what it's like to go one more turn and the next thing you know, the sun's gone down and come back up. <laughs> Can't imagine doing that standing at an arcade cabinet. Exactly. To really delve deep into a game, one that's not as shallow as blasting aliens or munching dots. A game that's more than a game. A game that is the world. And then she realized her salad is starting to wilt, left unattended for so long. <laughs> oh, um, I should finish this up. And I need to clear this dungeon, too. Sorry. Sorry, I tend to ramble a lot, and once I get on a roll... It's fine, it's fine. I hardly ramble at all. And enjoy your lunch. Bye, Bye for now. Soon enough, she's buried herself deeply into the twin activities of nourishing her body and mind, shutting me out completely. That was a relief, meeting a friendly person, with no strings attached. Not a good spot, anyway, right? Uh, gotta admire her passion, she's got a strong heart, and her head's on straight. She's so cute, and I'd love to get a better know her better in the future. She is extremely cute, yes. Uh, robot overlords call her mom that's worrying. I don't give a shit about this. I'm- I'm on the- I'm on board with- with our cute little AI companions. Uh... She is really fucking cute, though. <laughs> that's not worrying! That's hot as fuck! You know? Great point. Alright. She's just so cute! I'll admit it. My heart did a little wobbly wobble on seeing her. She's so incredibly cute that I had to struggle to speak clearly. Yes, I did deserve that bonk, because that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I- d yes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes. Knowing that a beauty like her has a strong heart and a brilliant mind, that's everything I've ever dreamed of. <sighs> God, this is just outing me and all my preferences for nerdy hot women. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I wonder if, you know, she'd be interested? Maybe? I guess we'll see.